I get the question a lot, Tony, what gear do you use for photo and video production? Well, today we're gonna to be looking at something really cool from Ulanzi, the VL110 RGB tube light. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do today is take a look at these lights. Now, I get the, I do get the question a lot. It's like, hey, Tony, what lights do you use for this? Hey, what lens do you use? What cameras do you use? And all that kind of stuff. There are a lot of aspiring YouTubers or just people that like to do photo and video production. I do a lot of product photography and things like that. Many of you may not know, but I actually do run a photo, video, and voiceover business. I, I'm a former radio personality, so all that stuff just kind of fits together. Not to mention, I'm a huge geek when it comes to all this stuff, not just electronics, but especially camera gear and lighting and things like that for studio situations. So I was actually looking for some RGB tube lights and I'd been on Adorama and B&H and the sites that I normally shop on. And the ones that I were seeing on there were like, you know, the nano light is like $230 for one light, that kind of thing. And I was like, all right, well, maybe I don't need them right now. Well, through the magic of Facebook and Facebook ads, Ulanzi, your ads are working on Facebook. I saw this company and started going, hey, this is pretty cool. I saw that they were from China and I was thinking, well, then how long does it take to get and all that kind of stuff? Well, I decided to go look at the website. I found the VL110 lights and that's actually what you see over here. There's one that's off camera here shining up here one light giving all that light and that's in a well-lit studio i've got other you know panel lights and stuff back here to light the studio itself and they've got other ones they've got smaller ones and bigger ones and all that kind of stuff but looking at the description on these this looked like exactly what i wanted you can actually fit them together with the cuff system that they have which i'll show you in a minute and they have scenes on them like in other words Say you're doing a, a video production and you need to have a cop car or an ambulance or whatever. Well, these will mimic the cop car, the ambulance, whatever. Also things like lightning, it'll mimic that. So you could have two or three of these things out there with lightning going you know, behind a window while you're filming a scene. Maybe like a light bulb that is it's short circuiting. So paparazzi, whatever, this thing will mimic that. Not to mention it does white light. It does all the, the whole spectrum of standard light and then it'll do the whole spectrum of RGB. Uh, the, very versatile is what they are. I was pleasantly surprised that the controls look like stuff that I would see on some of my professional gear that I paid three, four hundred dollars for. So I contacted them one, because I wanted to see how well they were with customer service, if they would get right back to me. And I had questions about the lights. Well, not only were they super good, I mean, they got back to me within 24 hours, answered all of my questions, and I had mentioned that I had a YouTube channel, and that's what I wanted to use them for. So they asked me if I wanted to review this particular light. I said, yeah, I totally do. Spoiler alert that if I would have known what I know now about these lights, I would have bought them straight out. No, no questions asked. Well, let's do this. Let's dive down so I can show you everything up close. Okay, so I've got one out of the box, one in the box. I've been using Using both of them I really like them there's a lot to like so this is the VL 110 RGB ice light from Ulanzi over here on the side vlog now with Ulanzi vlog it seems like this is like a focus for them they they make a lot of products for mobile phones and you know ring lights and things like that that work great for blogging or vlogging so some specs on this the total power in this is 7.5 watts type C charging on it 5 volts 2 amp for charging voltage LED life 20,000 hours for the LEDs color temperature range 2500 to 9000k battery capacity 2600 milliamp hours now I I've had very good life off of these things. I've used them for a bunch of photo shoots and stuff and I've had no issues with that at all. Uh, the light beads, there's 22 RGB, 44 yellow, and 44 white. Really, only 22 RGB because these things are really bright. Okay, so when you open up the box, there is a manual and it's, it's pretty simple. It's in a couple of different languages but they do break down all the functions and buttons and everything. And over here, the effects modes. This is something that I wanted to point out here. So they've got a cop car, ambulance, fire engine, lightning, fireworks, TV. Like, you know, if you were filming something and you wanted to look like the subject was watching TV, you just put this out in front of them. Does the basic flicker from a TV candle, party, faulty bulb, well, faulty bulb. They, they just say fault bulb, but faulty bulb and pulsing. So yeah, pretty thorough little manual. Got your USB-C cable over here. And then your light is wrapped in plastic when it comes. That's why I put this one back inside the box so you can see that. All right, so before I go through all the different functions and stuff, I do want to show you this because it's pretty cool. There's a, you know, kind of a socket on this side. And then, uh, if, well, the other side of it has a mount for basically like a tripod or whatever. You notice that it kind of has a chamfer there, right? So we're just going to turn that and pull that off. And then these two are going to fit together. So basically you're going to put them like this. And just a little twist just like that and now these are connected 
So the two units become one. Uh, you can connect more than two. They say not to connect more than three or the integrity of it gets lost. But one of the pictures on the website shows four of them connected. But depending on how you're using it, if you're waving it around, more than three probably wouldn't be good. But these things are magnetic as well. So if you had four of them and you stuck them on the side of something metal, it, it would just be fine, I'm sure. There is a lock on them, all right? So once you latch them together, you got to undo that lock and then you can turn them and, and take them apart. Once you do that, you just put this cuff back on here just like that. You still have your tripod mount over here. One thing I really like is that they've made the back side of these kind of hexagonal so that if you want to set them down to get the correct angle, you could do that or they could be straight up on their back or tilt over like that. So there's a lot of different things. Now let me show you the magneticness of these because I just think this is terrific. I do a lot of product photography and I'm often thinking, geez, I need to be able to stick this on so that where do I put it? Well, if I was doing something on my counter, it would go right on the bread box. Or if I'm shooting something on a side table or something like that, attach it to the lamp. I mean, wherever you need to attach these things, they attach and they've got little rubber feet on them so that you don't scratch up the surface that you're putting them on. Very, very clever. They also give you a little color guide here for when you're doing the RGB if you're trying to tune in just the right color. Over here it says Ulanzi VL110 and they do have the specs on there as well. All right, let's turn them on. So this one, let's see. All right, when you turn them on, you'll, you'll get the launch screen on there. And basically right now we're in RGB mode. You've got your battery meter right there. It tells you the mode right there. So this button right here is going to cycle through the different uh, things that you see on the screen, wherever the arrow is. So that's what you would control right there. And that's what you control right there. Uh, the S, I believe, is saturation. The H is hue. So if we go to hue, we can start changing that hue. And it changes the color of the light. Pretty simple. And then if we go down here, well, that's the saturation. And then down here would be, well, the brightness of it. So you do have a little bit of leeway with that as well. So everything's got functions within it when you get to a different function, okay? So that was RGB. And when you get to scenes, now these are the different scenes that are on here, okay? So it's pulsing right now. And if you wanted to change the brightness of that, you could do that right there. So pulsing is just going to go through the different colors and pulse them. Then you got strobe. You've got RGB strobe. Oh, paparazzi. So that would simulate people taking photographs. If you put a couple of these things up and you had, you know, if you were filming and you wanted it to look like the paparazzi were taking pictures, you'd do that. Emergency. All right. So this is going to go through an emergency sequence. That'd be like a, I see there's a little bit of a delay with the with the camera I'm using here because the brightness is adjusting. Uh, highlight beams, so that'd be like a car, and then red flash could be like police or whatever. Green flash. You got blue flash. These are all the different scenes. You'll see a scene number up there. HSI slow, so basically it's going through the different colors. HSI fast. Cop car. Ambulance. It's nice because, like I say, if you're filming something and you needed to emulate it or simulate it or whatever, especially something off camera, you could definitely do this. Like you had dialogue going on. Here's lightning. So basically it's going to emulate what lightning would be looking like. You have that sitting outside of a window. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, fireworks, different colors of fireworks. TV. So if you had a subject sitting there watching TV and, well, you didn't want to actually have a TV on there because you wanted to control the light, you can put this off camera and make it look like they're watching TV. It simulates a candle. Party. Yeah. <laughs> if you just want to turn that one on and just have a, a little party in the bedroom. Uh, or wherever, or a faulty bulb. So it looks like, you know, maybe you're doing a horror movie and you're like, uh, we need to have like a, a broken bulb or something like that. So it just, you know, flickers on and off and back to pulsing. So there's a lot of different scenes. So we're going to go back here and this is just CCT. So basically whatever temperature you set it at. So we're just going to take the temperature down. So if you just wanted to use this as a, as a fill light or a backlight or something, you can do that as well. I don't know why, I just love white light. And then back to RGB. So yeah, there's a lot of different functions on here. And this sucker is bright, man. I mean, 
I can put this way off camera and still have it light up a room. Even, yeah, like I say, I had this one sitting on this table over here, shining over onto the wall over there while I was filming the on-camera stuff. And it pretty much fills the room. So look, all that for 59 bucks, I gotta tell you, that is mighty, mighty nice. Of course, you hold that down and it turns off. I like it, I like it quite a bit, and I can definitely see these things coming into use in all of my work. So these lights, $59, or you can bundle them and buy more of them. You get a discount when you do. Now I've put my link down in the description. If you use my link and go to the website, it does help the channel out. So other uses for these things, I, you know, maybe you just want to set one on either side of the TV. You could just plug them in, but put them on either side of the TV and mood lighting or I don't know, whatever. These things will work for just about anything you want. I like that you can attach the two of them together because if you were doing a, like maybe a siren, you could have one red, one blue, and they're flashing and all that kind of stuff. Overall for build, value, and quality, I man, these are really good lights. I'd highly recommend them to anybody that's looking for studio lights or whatever you might use an RGB tube tube light for. And it's not just lights, by the way, they have tripods. They've got this crazy looking thing that actually might be really good for me that you put, that, you know, goes from floor to ceiling. It's like a tree and it's got all the stuff on there. So you can put your camera on there, your lights. And they've got a ton of stuff and I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff from this website. Not to mention they're partnered up with other brands on the website for things like three axis gimbals and all of that kind of stuff. So if you're into cameras, if you geek out like me on lights and cameras and electronics, might want to check them out. Like I said, there's a link right down there in the description. Hey, I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. I have a lot of passions and I, I plan to share them here on the channel. I get these questions a lot. And if it's something that other people are showing interest in, well, I'm going to show it. But your support over the years, and if you're new to the channel, I appreciate your support as well. So yeah, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And there is a notification bell down there if you like to get notifications when I upload new videos. I've got a bunch of stuff in the production queue for e-mobility and electronics and stuff like that, as well as the content that I've always had in here on the channel. So that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel. <laughs>